If you've never had a needle threader, you're going to be spoiled. On the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960, it is built onto the machine. Now let me show you a few tricks that I always need to show my students when they get started using the needle threader. So first off, I'm going to unthread the machine. To get a little bit more room when using the needle threader, go ahead and lower the presser foot. So a little bit more distance between the base and the needle threader. So first I'm gonna do this without any thread. You're gonna notice this will come down and then as you push down even further, that little head swivels around the needle eye area. So inside that little swivel head is a small little hook. Now, if you had to be a small enough hook to get through a needle eye, you're pretty small. That also means you're a little delicate. So a couple things. Number one, if you've just put a new needle in and you don't get your needle all the way as high as it needs to go, that needle eye is not where it's supposed to be. So when this little hook comes down, it might hit the needle shank and it will start to bend to the side. So if you're trying to use your needle threader and it's not working, it's not working, it could be because the little hook has bent to the left or to the right. If you can see it, you can kind of bend it back center, but if you have completely moved it out of position, you might need the help of a local sewing machine technician. So just note that you need to be gentle with it and also make sure that when you put a needle in, it goes to the highest position. Next, if you haven't already, use the needle up and down button to cycle the needle to its highest position. In other words, if you've turned your hand wheel and your needle is down here, again, we're not lined up. So I'm gonna use my little button down and up, that's the perfect position. Next, as that presser foot was lowered to give us a little bit more room, it also gave us a little resistance to also assist with using a needle threader. So here's how I do it. So I don't have to get my thumbs and other fingers in here. I like to bring it down just a little bit before I take my thread underneath this little arm off to the side. Then take your needle threader, come down all the way before you bring your thread across and into the two little arms and get close to that little hook. Have your thread in the kind of up position. Notice I'm not to the back, but I'm just gently holding it up. Then you're gonna let go of both threads, the needle threader and the thread. Now, if you hold on too tight over here, it can't pull a loop through. After a loop has been pulled through, you do the rest and pull it through the needle. So let's see that one more time. So you're bringing it down underneath, swoop it under, bring your needle threader all the way around the needle completely, then place the thread inside the two little arms, lift up and let go of both gently. And voila, there's your needle threaded without having to see that tiny little eye.